Welcome to our website. This is called England's 22. So today we are here with Bailey and Daniel and me, myself, Crazy. We're going to be discussing the topic over England's 22. We're going to pick certain players in different positions and discuss on why they should start and why they shouldn't start. So we're going to start from the goalkeeper. Um, so I've decided to pick. Um, for me personally, it goes both ways, but Pickford and Button, they've been both quality this season. Um, and I feel like it will be very difficult for Gareth Southgate to decide who you should start because they've been both quality to them. I'm sure with a bit of training they'll be able to yeah. adapt to England style. I, I think the three keepers that should be going to the World Cup is now done. It's literally just who is going to be the number one. Exactly. So I think Hart's been out of form. I think he should definitely go, but he shouldn't be anywhere near the starting eleven. I think he should go purely for his experience. So yeah. for me, the number one will be Jordan Pickford. But they all three should be going really. Um, I think Joe Hart is in the England squad out of respect, mm. of, because of what he's done. But um, the three are going to be Butler and Hart and Pickford. But for me, I think it should be Pickford because he does do some really incredible saves, and that's why he's in the England squad. Great. Great, 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 great. So we're now just going to go into the centre back. So. Um, for me, I've chosen two centre-backs. For me, it is John Stones and Harry Maguire. The reason I've chose John, Stone, John Stones, first of all, is because I feel like, again, I'm going to touch on this again, because I feel like um, England really like, want to play from the back. They want to change their style of play. And I feel like with John Stones playing as a centre-back, it will really help, because since he plays for Man City, Pep Guardiola's style of play... It's passing from the back. Exactly. Yeah. Passing. I feel like he, John Stones has that composure. Yeah, and exactly. Because I went for Harry Maguire and John Stones as well as part of my two centre backs. Yeah. Because Harry Maguire is also kind of similar to John Stones. He doesn't play under a passing style team under Leicester City, but he does have the quality, as we have seen yeah. in previous games. And he is strong defensively, and I think he suits Gareth Southgate's way of playing. So I think John Stones and Harry Maguire are there both now. Um, I went with John Stones and I went with Gary Cahill. I went with John Stones, obviously, as you guys have said, he plays in both on the ball. Um, he's obviously just won the Premier League now. Um, Gary Cahill was also a Premier League winner. Um, he was obviously with John Terry, he was obviously one of the best defenders that England has ever produced. So he's got that experience in playing in a very big game. He's also won Champions League, as we, as we see. Yeah, I'm also full, like, one more player we're missing out is, um, um, is, um, yeah, is Smallin, or centre back. Because um, since he plays for Man United, Man United have um, Jose Mourinho as a manager, and I feel like Mourinho is a very defensive-minded manager, and I feel like he focuses a lot on defense. And this yeah. season, I feel like Smalling has and created well. So. Yeah, these two were saying, but I have to disagree with you. Okay. Like Chris Smalling, I'll go for full choice per okay. uh, personally okay. because I feel like Chris Smalling, we just we way too arrogant at the back, okay. but I feel like full choice is solid to do his job, and his experience is one to have all come. I personally go for Phil Jones as well. Yeah, I would agree with um, Phil Jones. He was generally composed and um, he doesn't really do any flashy stuff. He just keeps yeah. it simple, passes yeah. on from the back. That's what he does. Okay, so now let's go into the full backs. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with the right back, with a right back, Kyle Walker, based on Man City. Um, I feel like this is a quite obvious sort of um, decision because um, he's such a overall well rounded, good, good right back, perfect right back. In this day and age, you need your right back to be able to pass from the back. He's quick, physical presence, and he's composed, and he's exactly what England want as he, he is able to pass from the back. Yeah, I've got, I do agree with you, of course. I'm, I, I also like to put in there that he can play right centre back as well, so it helps him when it comes to playing, say, if like Cahill or Joe Stones gets injured, he can slot in there even if you have, don't have a centre back on the bench. So I think that's another reason. But I think. The, the right back to be his understudy for the World Cup has to be Trent Alexander Arnold. He's 19 years old, we've seen how he's handled his arm in the Champions League. He's very solid, and I think with the experience he'll help England in the future. I think he should go. Um, Walker is definitely leading the path as being a, a right back that should go to Russia in yeah. England. Um, amazing player. Um, I also think that Nathaniel Flan should also be in there as well. Yeah. Very composed, very. When he was with Liverpool, 
before he obviously had the injury, and obviously Alexander, Alexander Arnold, he was um, behind Klein, but also now um, starting to make a name for himself in the Champions League and in the Premier League as well. Yeah, let's go into the left backs. Um, for me, I feel like left back is a bit of a, a, a difficult sticky. one. Sticky, yeah. sticky, yeah. but yeah. yeah, but I do feel like there's one left back who has stood out for me this season. And that will be Ashley Young. Not his favourite position for him personally, but I'm sure for other people it is Ashley Young. He is quite versatile. I feel like it's really good to have someone like him in left back, you know. He could do the tracking, he could do the attacking. It's true. And I feel like he'll be really composed and he's quite solid defensively. So that's yeah, why he's saying well that. Option. You said Ashley Young, but I think we should also take into consideration Fabian Delph when I see Another player who's not a recognised left back. Yeah, that is true. But, yeah. And he is a Premier champion. I think actually, yeah, he does have, you have seen him get beat by Sterling or Dr. Dominic. I haven't seen Delph have a player where he's just destroyed him the whole game, but I have seen that actually young. Yeah. But I do think any of the two that can get to the Um, I think it's between Ashley Young, Delph, and Danny Rose. Yeah, Danny Rose. Um, Danny Rose is obviously a tremendous player with um, Spurs, and I feel like they're all good attackingly. Some may be better than others defensively, but they generally um, can combine together and just help that. But for me, actually, I'm going to have to be left back for that. So. Okay, all right. Now let's go into the central midfielders or just the midfielders in general. So um, I'm going to start with Alex Oxley Chamberlain. And I feel like, in terms of the central midfielder, I feel like he should play more of an attacking central midfielder. And that's because um, with Liverpool, he's played excellent. He's 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 everywhere really. He has lots of potential as a player. I feel like since he's been playing for Liverpool, he's been showing how talented he really is. Um, you know, he tracks. He's he put high pressure, puts in a lot of effort, and I feel like he's composed and he's also able to drive with the ball and attack the other team's defense. Yeah, and we do know yeah. that he prefers to play with him. Exactly. Himself, yeah. he, He's in that, and I think another nail on centre mid. I'm not a big fan of him, but he has to go purely because of his leadership, and that's Jordan Henderson. Yeah. Another nail on centre mid. I think his leadership just shows he's a he's a vice captain for England, so he's a definite. Um, Henderson definitely because he obviously is the vice captain. Um, I also think Chamberlain as well because he's obviously been in form. I also think Jack Wilshere as well because yeah. um, exactly. dealing with injury yeah. problems to to come back, get back into the Arsenal. And also get back into the England team is very commendable. So um, in terms of playing in the central midfield, you need that hand. He can also attack, yeah. so he can open up the play for other players to just move out and I really think you need them to be in the central midfield. And just the fourth throw forth on the need for central midfield, so I'll put Eric Dyer on there for the defensive yeah. for the defensive solid, yeah. solidarity basically. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. Him. just to touch upon Jack Bush, I feel like he is a quality player. I um, mean he will do um, his best for um, England as he plays for the badge. Just watching him in Arsenal, you can see that yeah, exactly. he plays for the badge. He plays with passion, and I feel like that's what Eng- England players need. need. And that's I feel like he's perfect for that game. I feel yeah. like England players are too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. but Jack, yeah. Actually, they yeah. don't care about losing. Like they just lose. They get the money Yeah, yeah. Back, and then they go back to training. Yeah, yeah. But Jack Walsh is a different sort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's go into um, the wingers. I will start with Jesse Lingard. Because I feel like um, now um, under Marina he's thrived a bit more. Um, he's very attacking. His finishing has improved. Um, I feel like he's just a different sort of type of player now. He's a completely different type of player now. His ball controls improved. The quality of his passing's improved. He's a good finisher. So that's why I feel like he should come into yeah, this one I as think well. On another wing or he's another certain team is Raheem Sterling. He's probably had the best. Percent. Probably had the best season in the whole squad. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Eighteen Premier League goals. That doesn't, that doesn't come yeah. by a fluke. I think he could be alongside Harry Kane the main man in this World Cup squad. I think he's an absolute. Yeah. yeah. He's I think um, Lingard and Sterling they both improved, especially in this season. Mm-hmm. But um, I feel like they were doing that as well a bit of last season, even when Sterling was with Liverpool. He was carrying the team at one point. 
So um, I feel like we forgot one player Deli Ali Ooh, in the middle. Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Yeah. I would even add Rashford as well. Yeah, he's kind of no, he's, he's, he's he comes as more of a forward, a yeah. forward, yeah. But yeah, Deli Ali, he definitely. Lana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and Lana, yeah. But yeah, I feel but like twenty-two squad man. Yeah, not yeah, everyone yeah, gets. Yeah, not everyone. Every single player that yeah. yeah. But definitely Deli Ali, I think he will hundred percent, ninety percent will yeah. be definitely. Okay, so now let's go into the forwards. Yeah, I think the way Marcus Rashford bashed through his time at Man United, I think he deserves. And he's so quality exactly. for his age as well. Yeah. yeah. I think he just for he's even experienced. He went to Euro 2016. He just bashed through, isn't it? Yeah, he just bashed his way through. Yeah. So I think he will uh, definitely go through every time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, also for forward, I'd say Harry Kane. Yeah. Like for me, there's just no question. There's absolutely no question. He's out like, for the golden yeah, boot, you know. He just blows the Premier's back out. Yeah, his bones. exactly. The boot, he yeah. just destroys them, you know, because just his physical presence. Exactly. He's not the quickest, but he's not slow. His yeah. heading, his exactly. finishing. Exactly. He, I feel like he's the perfect striker. Like, yeah, I can um, agree. I can yeah. agree. He can yeah. any way you want to play. And I feel yeah. like, yeah, exactly. He's quality. He's versatile when it comes to striking. So yeah, Harry, but Harry Kane, I think we should also bring out Jamie Vardy, he's having a yeah, party. 100%. Yeah. He's got to bring him in here, of course. He's, yeah. He has to see he's consistent, he scores yeah. goals. He's another one who he's bash, he's bash his way through the Premier League. 100%. Yeah, so I think he can I change. would have um, Harry Kane, obviously, as a starter. Yeah. Um, Jamie Vardy and also Jermaine Defoe. The reason I would say Jermaine Defoe is because um, Jermaine Defoe is a, kind of like a legend. Yeah. And he can score goals when Jamie... Yeah, I think that's yeah. a strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's it, man. Yeah. That's our squad. That's it. And thank you that's for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for tuning in to our England 22 squad. And hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Keep bashing.